Hello, and welcome to the Review Hell. It's 3.26 a.m. And t to make up for the last one, let's do a new show. was gonna happen eventually, and considering I just finished Doom, you know what, this seems like a good time. Fuck it, let's get right into Camper. Camper sent his round game a guy named Natsuru. Oh wait, there's a guy or a chick or... Oh, fuck it, I'll just call it Hot Ramna. Natsuru has a thing for the redhead. I don't blame him. Red's heads are hot, so fuck it. And there's this other redhead who has brown hair when she's not a camper. This is confusing. This will take a while to explain. But Camper is a show where a guy turns into a chick because of these little, I guess you could call them. <laughs> the fuck, I don't know what they're called. Fuck, Monokumas. Yeah, you're probably wondering why there's a bunch of little Monokumas everywhere. Well, they're not really Monokumas, that's why. <laughs> if they were Monokumas, this would have been a much better show and probably would have been featuring the ultimate Hope Makoto. So, yeah. This show, he turns into a girl whenever he fights. Why does he turn into a girl? I don't know. Yeah, bracelet or some shit, I don't know. God's wanted to watch teenage girls fight, because why the fuck not? You know, that that's totally the best way to sell your differences if you're a god. Just have a bunch of fucking teenage girls fucking fight to the death. Yeah, that's totally not Battle Royale or something. And yes, Hunger Games are off Battle Royale. You better not tell me otherwise, you little shit! Well, I guess I owe it to you to give you an overall look on the story. It features this guy. He turns into a chick. Has a thing for a redhead. Ends up with a chick with glasses. I think. Or he just does it with the power of friendship? Ah, uh, fuck. Um, then there's this chick. She reads, she draws, and she's obsessed with the main character because he shows her attention. Yeah, this show's weird. Um, then there's this chick who is his childhood friend and kind of a slut for him, but they never get together, which is thankfully not a thing in this. Then there's the president, I guess you could call her. She's she, she's the one who gets closest with him, it's fucking weird. And uh, then there's the redhead who's evil. Well, she's not really a redhead, but she's like kind of ginger, but kind of not ginger. And then there's, uh, uh, fuck, who else is there? Oh yeah, there's, um, I think that's everyone actually. Everyone who matters anyway. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, and the ginger's the main villain. Uh-oh, spoiled it for you. So what is Camphor about? Of course, it has a wonderful story. I'm just kidding. It's about tasty, tasty fan service. Fan service, fan service, fan service. <laughs> I mean, okay, fan service here and there. It's fine, it's fine, yeah. Just give the fans what they want. They obviously want to see it, but no. No, no. No, no, no. no. Not in the quantities it's at in this show. The show is pretty much purely fan service with some hilarious fights occasionally. I mean, fuck, dude. Hey you! There's a lot of anime out there, so you probably want to know my score. I give Cam for 3.5 stars. Actually, no, 4 stars. It's not that bad. It's actually kind of charming at times, but unfortunately... All the fan service and pretty much lack of a story takes it down. All in all, I'd rather fight the camphor from Mobile Suit Gundam, War in a Pocket, than fight the camphor from this. And the camphor from War in the Pocket almost killed the 
fucking main character, and was a giant goddamn robot. Yeah, I love Gundam. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck is that? I know I saw something, but what? Oh my god, fuck. Oh, fucking hell. I'm gonna go clear out my computer and. Yeah. Um. I hope you enjoy. And I hope you enjoyed the tunes that hopefully didn't overpower me this time. I'll. I'll watch it better to make sure that doesn't happen. Out of raw, get the fuck out. Um, I'm I'm still in hell. <laughs>